creating a chat app where you can share with your friends your bad poems or your plans for world domination has never been simpler. In this video, let's create a simple chat application using React and Convex. You will need absolutely no backend at all as Convex handles all of it. Create a React app with TypeScript using Vite and do all the necessary stuff. Next, install Convex, which will take care of our backend. Convex sponsored this video and they make it simple to replace your database, server functions, and glue code. Next, we'll run npx convex dev. This will prompt us to log in with GitHub, create a project, and save our production and development URLs. It will also create a convex folder for us to write our backend API functions in. This dev command will continue running to sync our functions with our dev environment in the cloud. Next, we'll create a file called schema.ts to define the message schema. Now we just import the define schema and define table functions from our convex server to define the table and the structure of our table. We have an author field, which is the name of the user, and the body field, which is the message body. Both of them will be strings, so we're using string values via v, which we imported from convex values. Now that our schema is set, we need functions that can perform actions for us, like sending messages and reading them. Create another file called messages. We need to import query and mutation from the server in the generated folder. This generated folder will be automatically generated when we run the convex server. Import v from convex values as well. Create a function list to list the list of messages, which is a query. This query function takes two params. One is the args, which will be empty because we are passing no data, and the other is the handler to get the messages from the messages table in the database. Store the messages in a messages array. Order the messages by the descending order and take 100 of them. Return them as well as reversing it. You now have a function to list all the messages. Now let's create a function to send messages. Create a function called send with the mutation function that we used before. Mutation means change and this function will change the database by adding new messages. Here the args will contain our message body and the author name. Both of them are strings. The handler function will just insert messages to the database using insert in the messages table with the body and the author name. And we're done creating our server. Now let's run the server using npm run dev server. It will create a file called .env.local that contains a deployment URL where your server is deployed and a byte convex URL, the full URL of your deployment. Keep the server running. And now we need to do the stuff in the front end. Let's have a chunk of code where we have a name variable with some username, import use query and use mutation from convex and the APIs from the generated API file. Let's get all the messages using use query. We'll get the messages from api.messages.list and a mutation from api.messages.send. We need a state called use message text to store the messages when we write one. For that, we need a form input. We also have a button which when clicked will send the messages in the database. Now all we need is to get the list of messages and show it in the app. Also have a use effect to scroll to the bottom when we have a new message. Now let's run the front end using npm run dev, but there's a twist. We also need to wrap our entire app into convex provider in the main.tsx file. Pass the convex URL from the .env file as client in the convex provider. Now we'll run the front end on two different browsers as different users. Notice how I have added a random number after the name to differentiate the users. You can now chat using this React and Convex app, which supports real-time messaging. And if you wish to see where the data is going, just do npx convex dashboard to open the convex dashboard. You'll need to log in with your GitHub account. You can now put world dominator full stack developer in your resume. Thanks for watching.